once more welcome to another exciting week i've enjoyed going through this uh, uh, journey with all, all of you and i want to take this opportunity to uh, thank all of you that participate on the discussion board on a regular basis and for those that have reached out to me uh, via text messages and emails before we move ahead i want to encourage you to take advantage of the discussion board and make sure that you respond to the question that is posted for the week as soon as possible so we can have enough time to discuss and get some in-depth information as far as the subject that we're covering for the week is concerned. When you wait to post your responses at the end of the week, it doesn't really help because we're not having enough time to interact and discuss. That said, I want you to ensure that latest Friday you should have your answer posted. The sooner you do it, the better. Last week we looked at volcanic activity with the hazards that are associated with a volcanic activity. We were reminded that molten rock, when it comes out on the surface of the earth, it's called lava, just as we had different types of igneous rocks, we have different types of, 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 of lava that is associated with three different types of uh, volcanic edifices, a mafic lava forms the shield volcanoes that have very broad bases and gentle slopes while the mafic mag while the felsic magmas will form the ash and cinder cones these are usually very violent eruptions and when you also look at uh, the intermediate magmas they will give us a composite uh, vo vo volcanoes this week we're going to be looking at metamorphic rocks. Metamorphism simply means that you have some change uh, taking place. You know, most of us, maybe the first time we heard about metamorphism uh, or was related to the changes of uh, lava to a pupa and to a, a butterfly. But now we're going to see what happens to your igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks and even the metamorphic rocks themselves when you increase the temperature and pressure on these rocks. What's going to happen is that the igneous rocks, for example your granite, it's going to become a new rock called gneiss. It's a new rock but uh, some of the mineral composition is going to change but what you're going to see are going to be textural differences. A mineral like kyacide is going to be re re reorganized in the limestone to give us marble. So we're going to be looking at the different changes that the different rocks are going to undergo. And the learning outcomes of this week are going to be yeah, the following. After you complete the module, you should be able to compare and contrast the environments that produce metamorphic, sedimentary, and igneous rocks, list and distinguish among the four agents that drive uh, metamorphism. So we're talking about some of the agents who include uh, heat and, and pressure. You explain what, uh, how foliation and non-foliation textures develop, list and describe the most common 
metamorphic rocks i've already mentioned one of them nice uh, marble and write a description of each of these metamorphic environments and for example we're going to be talking about contact metamorphism hydrothermal metamorphism subduction zone metamorphism and regional metamorphism you also be able to explain how index minerals are used to establish the metamorphic grade of a rock body and lastly you will be able to describe the temperature and pressure conditions associated with the following metamorphic fishes we have the blue cheese fishes hornfels fishes and zeolite fishes we are also going to have a metamorphic rock lab component associated with this week's module again the lab is going to be straightforward just like the other labs we've seen and now I can over iterate the fact that if you need help, if you're having difficulties, if you are struggling, help is available. I'm just a text message away, a phone call away, an email away. Make sure that you reach out to me if you have difficulties and we'll get those clarified. Once more, welcome to this module. It's going to be exciting. And there is a lot that we're going to learn. Let's get into the course and see what we have for this week. Thank you.